WGAL News 8's Weather on the 8s with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Hi everyone, good morning. The Susquehanna Valley is under a slight risk of severe weather today that extends not only here but just down to our south toward Baltimore and Washington, D.C., and then all the way up toward portions of western Maine. So, what that means for us is any thunderstorm that does develop this afternoon into the evening could contain damaging wind gusts. That's in excess of 60 miles per hour. So, that is our primary and only threat today thunderstorms that develop producing those damaging wind gusts. Here's the News 8 Storm Team forecast. It's 82 to 86 for your highs. We'll go with partly sunny skies and scattered storms developing after lunchtime in westernmost counties, rolling off to the east by 4 or 5 p.m. Warm and humid is the call for today, and with all of that saturation in the atmosphere, we could easily produce heavy rain. Tonight, mostly cloudy, patchy fog in areas that do see rain. It'll be muggy, overnight lows hanging out in the mid 60s. Then for tomorrow, mix of clouds and sun, but not as humid. We'll see a cold front, very weak one coming through, so it's not going to provide temperature relief for us, but you might notice the humidity dropping just a touch. Almanac, a look back at yesterday shows a high of 88 degrees, average 75. We haven't seen 70s for quite a few days, and we won't until early next week. Next Monday is your next chance of highs in the 70s. Right now, we are in the 70s already this morning in York. It's 71 degrees. You can see some scattered clouds out here on the horizon with light winds out of the south and a dew point, real muggy there, of 65. Temperatures elsewhere show 70 in Sealands Grove, 68 Lewistown, and Gettysburg. Good morning, Lancaster. You're 70 even, as well as Coatesville. We've been pretty quiet overnight on Super Doppler 8 here, but there were a few showers just out to our west. So Pittsburgh got some morning rain. Now that has quieted down, but I do expect things to flare up yet again as we reach our peak daytime heating. So between the hours of, say, 12 and 6 p.m., that's when we have to watch for those stronger thunderstorms that may develop. Predictor shows us the trend today. I'll stop the clock at 6 p.m. You can see that line developing and moving toward Philadelphia. So we'll be watching in our easternmost counties by about 5, 6 to see those strong storms. As we head into tonight, things quiet down. And here comes this very weak cold front, which really dissipates over us tomorrow. So there could be a stray shower tomorrow, but you'll notice slightly lower humidity as we hit the afternoon. Friday also looks good. A brief area of high pressure sits overhead, so it should only trigger an isolated shower for us, and we are in good shape as we approach the weekend. Now, I think Saturday is going to be dry for the first half of the day, then a cold front starts to approach. This front is stronger, so it'll give us a good chance of some rain Saturday night into Sunday with cooler temperatures to follow Monday and Tuesday. Look at those 70s. We haven't seen them for a while. No, we haven't. Yeah, and it will be a nice break at that point. <laughs> right, because we've, we've been in the 80s for about right. a week, over a week, yeah, at that okay. time. I don't mind that. All right. No, no, yeah. Christine, thanks. Thank you, Christine.